it's Layla here with the Garden of Eater. Today we're going to show you our fish from the fish club today. Alright, so now we're at the Tampa Bay Aquarium Society. Those are my cichlids. And they had an auction today. And Layla saw these rice fish. And she wanted these for her tank. She had to get them. She bit on them and everything herself. So these are yours for your tank. So we'll get those acclimated. It is a school night, so we're gonna get her to bed. And then I'll show you what else is in the bag. So we also got some hornwort, some peacock moss, as well as some willow moss. These all came from Darren, so I know they're nice quality plants and they're in pretty good condition. So I'm not going to be worried about these. I'm going to leave these until tomorrow night and I'm going to treat these for any possible worms or anything that Darren might not be worried about in his fish tanks. But we're certainly not going to want those in our shrimp tanks. So you got to pay attention to that next video to figure out how we treat our plants before adding them to our fish tanks. But I also got some cichlids. We live about an hour away from the fish club meeting, so it's pitch black outside. But we've got these cichlids. I'll have the full Latin name posted. I'm not going to try and butcher them. I believe they're Tanganyikans. They really caught my eye. This is the pond that they're going in. I'll bring them back inside to acclimate them and show you guys a better picture of what they look like. All right, so we got them inside. These guys really caught my eye. I saw them and I was like, these things are so cool. It made me feel like I was 16 with my yellow labs. So I really want to give these guys a crack at breeding them. I know in the winter time, we're going to have to bring these inside. And I didn't want to get something that I wanted to do that with unless it was really worth it. And I think these guys are just that. So I'm going to really put in the effort to get these guys going. And then we got to get this duckweed out of the container, get them on a 30 minute drip. And then I'll probably show you guys some footage of their setup tomorrow when the sun comes up. All right, so it's Tuesday now, the sun is up. As you can see, this pond is shaded throughout most of the day. It does get a good amount of sunlight though. And it has a ton of floaters. We are already planning on getting these out. So I'm gonna do that now and see if we can't find the cichlids that we added last night. All right, so we took out most of the floaters, but we're still gonna leave some in there so they can repopulate and control those nitrates. Now I can't see any of the cichlids from the top of the water, so we're gonna turn off the pump and dive on in there. All right, so back in Layla's room with the rice fish. They're super shy until they get used to her. They're just gonna hide in this back corner. But back to the pond, I did not know that the fry had survived through the entire winter. I had tried to catch as many of the guppies out of there as I possibly could. Those were green bar endlers. It seems like all the females survived, none of the males. So we're gonna have to throw in a male there to repopulate them with the cichlids. Also add in some nice flat rocks for them to spawn on and probably vacuum up some of that mulm. And then with the rice fish, we're just gonna probably add in some more moss in here and figure out a little bit more information on these. These are kind of new to us. And what do you have to say, Layla? All right guys, it's the end of the video. 
please subscribe and give us a huge thumbs up. Bye.